Hey everyone, welcome to another one of the few and far between Starscape dev blogs. Uh, it's been a while, uh, but we've got a big update coming out, so I wanted to give a pretty in-depth overview of one of the new systems that's coming to the game in update 1.5. So, uh, many of you know we recently revealed Flak Turrets, which was one of the eight uh, updates coming in update 1.5. One of the other major new features that we're going to talk about uh, has to do with markets. So many of you are familiar with markets in the game. You can go to uh, armories and ship dealers, general markets, furniture stores, etc., to buy items, or to a general marketplace in the Citadel. Usually you just walk up to a market terminal and there are seated items from NPCs that you can purchase. Other ways that you can buy items in the game include through player trades, vendor ships, frontier outposts, and trading freighters. But while all of these different ways of buying items are great and we don't plan on getting rid of any of them anytime soon, we wanted to introduce a new system of player-to-player -player economic activity. So we're actually going to not be talking about this market terminal or this marketplace. Instead, we're going to be going to a new market location. This new market location is not a station module. It doesn't require a vendor ship. It doesn't require finding a freighter or a frontier outpost. Instead, all it requires is a station terminal. So you'll notice that these are the previous storage terminals in the game as they were called before update 1.5. Now, when you open a station terminal, what used to be known as a storage terminal, you'll be presented with the usual storage interface at first, but there's a new tab, the marketplace tab. Here you can see our test server market, and this marketplace is special because these are not seeded items from NPCs. These are live market orders that have been placed by the testers in the test server. So all of these orders that you see are from other players in the game. They don't have to be online to keep their orders going. Instead, they can just place their orders at a certain price and their order will keep going whether or not they're online. So if I look through here, you can see we've got a phalanx for sale, we've got some upgrades, turrets, some salvage, and the ever popular resources. So I'll go ahead and show you how this works. This basically works the way that any other market would if you're just looking to buy or sell items. If you want to buy an item, you can scroll through the, through the list. You can choose whichever view you'd like. Find the item that you want. Let's say I want a minor turret can look at the stats as usual, and I can just go ahead and purchase the item. Now once I hit purchase, my order is placed, and we have to wait a few seconds for the order to actually go through. But it will quickly will complete, my credits will be removed, and the miner will be added to my storage. So then, what if you want to do a little more than that? What if you want to say, okay, uh, it's great, but why are there only 10 minor turrets available at this price. If you need more information, you can go into the View All Offers tab. The View All Offers screen gives you a lot of information about the actual item that you are buying, how many are available, who is selling them, uh, and what the actual market volume looks like. So you can see every order available for an item. So for example, if you and your enemy faction are trying to fund your war efforts through selling resources or loot, uh, you can keep a blacklist of vendor IDs that you don't want to buy from. Um, but you can see that we have items for sale up here and items that people are looking to buy down here. So I have a minor three now, so I could go in here, click on the order and sell it to them. Uh, or we could do this through the Sell Items tab. So the Sell Items tab works, again, how you would expect. Um, this is showing me all of the items that anyone has is willing to buy in this system. Uh, and the ones that are not grayed out are ones that I actually currently own. So if I owned any of these items, I could sell them no problem. But right now I only own the Beam Turret and the Minor Turret. So if I want to go ahead and sell this Beam Turret here, I can do that, and very quickly the order will be placed and fulfilled. And there we go. So that's how you buy or sell items with this system, and that's going to be enough for most people. 
But what about the people who really want to drive the market? What about the, the people with a lot of money or a lot of resources that they want to put onto the market? Well, for that, we use the Market Orders tab. So the Market Orders tab is uh, a new system that allows you to place these buy and sell orders uh, so that other players can actually see them and buy from you or sell to you. So right now you'll see that I have two sell orders set up. One of my sell orders is for Coralite. I'm selling almost 3,000 units at nine credits per piece. And uh, my other sell order is for a weapon. So from here, we can go ahead and create a buy order. And when we click the create button, it brings up this dialog to create the market order. What a buy order is, is saying that I'm willing to buy a certain item for a specific price. So when I open up this dialog, you can see that it brings up basically a window with every item I could possibly buy in the game. Uh, so let's just go ahead and pick one here. So I select the item. I can then choose how many of the item I want to purchase. We'll just go ahead and say 10. And then I can set my desired price per unit, what I'm willing to pay for the item. So for something like this, I'll go ahead and say oh, I'm willing to pay 3,500 credits per piece. Gives me the total cost. Hit create buy order. Gives me a little confirmation screen. And I confirm. So once again, this is sent to the market. And pretty quickly here, it will remove the credits from our account that we're willing to buy the items for. And so what this is called holding something in escrow. Uh, and this is a concept where basically until the transaction is complete, the credits for your buy order are going to be kept by the market so that they can pay anyone uh, who actually fulfills your buy order. Now, if you were to go and cancel the order, which you can do at any time with no cost, uh, you will get your credits back. And if your order is partially completed, let's say you only sold or you only bought five of the Saber Mark IIs that you intended to, you would get back half of your credits. Now, creating any order does come with a listing fee, and the listing fees do vary system to system. They're highest in the Citadel because the Citadel is the most valuable market. I don't expect this will ever change. Core systems also have higher listing fees, but certain systems will have lower listing fees. The trade union, in order to encourage very liquid markets, uh, sets its, its listing fees quite low. Now on the other hand, we can go ahead and create a sell order. So if we have an item and we want to sell it for a certain price, we can create a sell order. And it works similarly, except now instead of bringing up a dialogue with every item in the game, it only brings up a dialogue with every item that you currently have in your storage. So, uh, let's say I want to sell some of these 99 phalanxes that I have. I can go ahead and do that. I can put 5 on the market for 200,000 credits per piece. Now, similarly to when I place the buy order, it's going to take those phalanxes from my storage until the transactions are complete or until I cancel the order. So just to show you what that is like and to prove to you that you will get your items back, I'll go ahead and cancel this order for phalanxes. And they're returned to me. Now we don't get the listing fee back, but that's the price of doing business. So it's worth mentioning just how much of an improvement this is over the current system. Currently, people will sit in vendor ships for hours, blocking docking bays, and having auto clickers just to keep their market going. But now you don't have to do any of that. Any player can at any time set up their own market in whatever system they want. They can sell up to five items in the Citadel, or in any other system, you can sell up to 10. Now, sell orders and buy orders in the Citadel will last for 48 hours from when you create them. In other systems, they can last up to a week. What's great about this system, too, is that it doesn't matter what server you're in in the Citadel, you will always see the same items. So whether you're in server C09 or HJ5, you will be seeing the exact same market, you'll be able to place orders for the exact same items, and you'll be able to sell to all of the same people. The only way in which markets are fragmented is between systems. So it doesn't matter what station you're at in a system, but all of the items in a system will be 
specifically locked to that system. So if you put phalanxes on sale in the Citadel, don't expect to be able to buy them in Gatonseer. But what's great about this system is that if you're out in Syndica and you need an item fast, you don't need to go all the way back to the Citadel. It didn't make sense before for a vendor to constantly sit there with all of their resources. But now, there will be demand in places other than the Citadel if people need items fast. This opens up the opportunity for having trade routes from the Citadel to other locations to buy low and sell high. It opens up opportunities to make big profits in uh, systems that are not served by more than one industrialist at a time. The implications of this market system, we don't exactly know what they're going to be yet, but we're very excited for you to get your hands on it. The player market system will be available with Starscape's next update, Update 1.5, alongside seven other brand new features. So keep an eye out, it's coming very soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Uh, items take up space now, and your inventory is limited.